Hello everyone, welcome to the nation, and today we've got another Pokemon Go evolving video. This one's going to be a pretty big video. We're going to have some really good evolves, such as uh, Ponyta to Rapidash. We're going to have Growlithe to Arcanine, Execute to Executor. We're going to have all three starter Pokemon be evolved. Um, Drowsy, Clefairy, Seal, Nidoran... Uh, female and actually I forgot to no I'm I'm not doing Nidoran male yet because I haven't gotten to where I can get them all the way to Nido King I'm going to be getting Nidoran or Nidoran female Nidoran female all the way to Nido Queen so like I did last time I'm probably going to do the least exciting which would be Diglett for this episode Diglett is absolutely like not very good at all. And I don't have a Doug Trio. That's kind of why I'm doing this. I almost forgot. Lucky Egg. Don't allow. I don't. I don't care. I'll. I'll undo that later. All right. Got the Lucky Egg. And hopefully, maybe we can level up this video. Level 22, power. Maybe we can level up this video. So, like I said, gonna start with the Diglett and go ahead and evolve this Diglett to Doug Trio. Now, I don't have a Doug Trio yet, or Doug Trio. It looks really weird because he's supposed to be in the ground, but when he floats up, it looks weird. Um, there it is, Doug Trio, new Pokemon, so that's going to get us a lot of XP. That's kind of what I'm doing in this episode when I'm not going for like the big evolves. It's just kind of for XP. So there we go, Doug Trio, and it does have a pretty big multiplier, uh, believe it or not. And Earthquake that does 100 damage. It's not going to be a Gym Destroyer or anything, but uh, it will be something. Um, next, I'm going to go with Ghastly only to Haunter. Uh, I actually caught a Haunter, but it was a level 7 or a CP 17. This Ghastly is almost all the way C, uh, all the way maxed out CP, um, so that should be pretty good of a Haunter. He also has a pretty good IV, like, I think 70-something percent, so that's pretty good. There's Haunter. He's not new, but he is my first time I ever evolved him. 794, so that's going to probably go for a really, really good Gengar, which I'm excited for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not unfavor him, though. Uh, what, do, what else do we have? Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and do Drowsy next. No, I'm going to go to Seal to Dugong. And then I'm going to do Drowsy. Go ahead and evolve Seal. This one I'm excited for. I haven't I haven't had a Dugong yet, so that's going to be a new Pokemon. And I haven't actually seen Dugong in this game. And I'm kind of excited to see what his CP multiplier is going to be. So there you go. There's Dugong. It's a weird name for a Seal, but there you go. New Pokemon. Still don't have that far fetched. Oh, 1062. That's pretty good. That's I wasn't expecting that, but the, and I've got an ice ice powers, so that 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 could be helpful in gyms maybe, um, if I need some ice. And he's stronger than my Snorlax, which is a little bit upsetting. But why well, I'm I'm not gonna unfavorite him. I'm gonna. You see, I got so many over a thousand now. I don't I don't really favorite over a thousand anymore like I used to. Now I'm gonna do the drowsy. Um, I'm actually ready for almost two Drowsy Evolves. I do have a Hypno already, but I'm going to try to get over that Hypno's level and uh, hopefully get higher than that. Um, the other Hypno is like 1,033, I believe. We can see what this is going to be. And... He's one... CP level over my other Hypno. Is my other Hypno favorited? No. Here's my other Hypno. 1033. And here's this Hypno. 1034. Although, I think he has a pretty good um, strong attack, so that's better than the other one. Alright, we're getting to the more exciting ones now. We've got... Ponyta, Execute, Growlithe, Clefairy, and the three starters, and female Nidoran. So, I'm going to go with Execute since I already have an Executor. Hopefully, this surpasses my current Executor. 
Um, I don't remember the CP of the one that I evolved to my current executor. Hopefully this is better. I don't know what his multiplier is either. Hopefully I get Solar Beam. Solar Beam would be beast too. Like the Solar Beam attack. Which this guy's got a pretty good IV. So hopefully he gets he gets Solar Beam. Um, And he got Psychic. Which is not really what I'm looking for. I... You know, he's he's quite a bit more powerful than my other one, but I, I was kind of wanting that solar beam, you know. That'll be when I evolve this to a, um, whatever it's called, <laughs> a victory bell. Oh my gosh, notifications. Okay. See, that's that. Um, now it's time for me to evolve the... Ponyta. I'm going to go with Ponyta to Rapidash. This one I'm excited about. This is going to be miles over uh, 1,000 CP um, because it's already at 800. I actually hatched this Ponyta, which was exciting because I didn't have to catch as many Ponytas because I got a lot of candy. And, oh, hey, look, it's an invisible Rapidash. That's – oh, there it is. There it is. It's pretty cool. New Pokemon as well. Taking in that XP like a champ. 1206 that's pretty good it's pretty good and i didn't look at its attacks or anything i don't know what's good for that drill run ground i don't really have any ground attacks i was hoping for some fire attacks but you know um next is clefairy now i'm gonna go with actually arcanine next or Growlithe because i already have one i just want to see how how high of a level this is going to be or how high cp and if it surpasses my current RK9. I'd also like some good fire attacks. So that should be interesting. There's RK9. Freaking beast. He's got a monster CP to or IV too. 1338. That's not as high as my other one, but it's got fire blast. And that is the attack that is the best that you're looking for. So that's awesome. Alright, next is Clefairy. Oh, that's my eggs. I'm going to go ahead to Clefairy and evolve to a Clefable. This is going to be pretty exciting. I don't have a Clefable yet, and they're going to be pretty good because I don't have any fairy um, Pokemon really that much. And they, hey, there's a, there, there it is. I was going to say there's an invisible Clefable. There's a Clefable, new Pokemon added to the Pokedex uh, once again. That's pretty freaking cool. Clefable right there, Dazzling Gleam, Fairy. That should help. And it's 11.36, so not not too bad. It's not too good either. Um, next, I'm going to do Squirtle. All the Squirtles that I've caught have had really, really terrible IVs. But, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles, so I'm going to go ahead and evolve Squirtle. I caught a Wartortle, a 7-something Wartortle out in, uh, you know, the world. I caught it. And um, its IV is like 28.8%. So this War Turtle is going to have more, fortunately. Not, not, not a higher CP, but he's um, better IV for sure. So I will keep searching for a better IV uh, Squirtle because uh, the ones I've had are terrible. Um now let's see we're gonna go to Bulbasaur I had an Ivysaur which I wish I almost hadn't evolved because I would have been all the way to a Venusaur by now um, because he's only a 405 CP is just when I was really early on I hatched a couple Bulbasaurs but there we got a better Ivysaur so and his CP is quite a bit better too so Hopefully, that'll get me a pretty good Venusaur eventually. Um, I don't really see many Bulbasaurs around. Uh, and let's see. I'm going to go ahead with Charmander. Super excited for Charmeleon. I love I love Charmeleon. I love Charmander. I love Charizard. And it's going to be a really, really, really long time until I get Charizard because there are Charmanders nowhere for me. Oh, hey, look. Invisible Charmeleon. Oh, there he is. All right, we got that Charmeleon in there. Look at that. I have seen a Charizard in the wild. That's actually a pretty funny story. 
I saw Charizard in the wild, and he ran away from me, and I got really upset. That's why he was unlocked in the uh, Pokédex. All right, last one is going to be a full evolve Nidor Nidoran female all the way from from Nidoran female, Nidoran, Nidorina, and then Nido Queen. So this is going to be exciting. Not two new Pokemon, one new Pokemon and two evolves. And she's got a pretty good IV here too. So hopefully the Nidorina is pretty good CP wise. So that will help towards the Nido Queen. We'll see. I don't know whether it's Nido or Nido. Um, I know some people are sensitive to that. Sorry if I mispronounce it. And uh, looks like we got 768. So it's definitely going to go over 1,000 for sure. Let's evolve that Nidorina who has kind of bad posture. That's a joke that I had. She's got bad posture. And boom. No, boom. Nido Queen. Boom. Brand new Pokemon. Add that to the Pokedex. She looks intimidating and really cool. And awesome. Stone Edge. So I got a, a pretty good rock attack and poison. That's not bad either. Um, 1374. That's pretty, that's pretty high up on my um, rating. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you leave a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe and join the nation if you haven't already. Um, comment down below if you'd like to see some more uh, Pokemon Go Evolve videos and uh, what else you'd like to see in general on this channel. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.